Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. And once again, I'm doing an alchemy sauce. But I don't have magic, so I can't make it appear. I can't turn it into gold. Can't do anything of the fun stuff. But this one, again, is from the Mechanical Alchemy Gourmet Sauces. This one is their Sauvage uh, Wild Strawberry Sauce. This one is a bit, little bit of a different uh, design. This one is a black label. I'm going to read you what's on their page for it. <clears throat> this wild strawberry sauce is our latest gourmet creation due to the high popular demand seen by our test batches. Made from the homegrown wild strawberries and SRP hot peppers, the wild strawberries were manually crushed to preserve the chunkiness and delicious candy-like flavors. No added thickeners, no cornstarch, or xanthan gum in this. The ingredients are all organic and natural, pesticide free, the sugar amount is low and there is no added sodium. So this is great for anybody who has issues with anything like that. As it hits your tongue, there is a sweet and sour flavor, sweet and sour quickly followed, wow, I cannot speak, a sweet and sour flavor quickly followed by the mild spicy heat of SRP hot peppers. Then the full taste of wild strawberries lingers with sweeter notes and, is, and as it is swallowed, there's a mild peppery feeling in your mouth. It's an interesting description. I will put that to a test. Uh, suggested pairings for this particular sauce. On burgers, sandwiches, charcuteries, cheese, cocktails, bake in any type of baking, cakes, ice cream, etc. The ingredients are fresh wild strawberries, fresh sugar, Fresh peach hot peppers, so at least we know the peppers on this one. Uh, vinegar, lemon lime, or sorry, lemon juice, and cane sugar. Now they also have a little blurb on here. Our black label line of products is made with unique high grade quality ingredients. We spent several years developing and tweaking our recipes to select only the best results which define our black label quality. The process involves aging our homegrown super hot peppers for a minimum of one year and using different production techniques like smoking, fermentation, and pickling, etc. The outcome is guaranteed exceptionally powerful, flavorful product, which is unique in our gourmet quality. So they go about things a little differently um, with these sauces, which makes for an interesting sauce typically, uh, instead of just following the same old, same old path of uh, sauce making. And it's it reminds me of almost like a raspberry vinaigrette uh, consistency and color and everything else. So let's give this one a try. So you can see it does. Hopefully you can see it. You can see how thin it is. Uh, you can see, at least I can see, hopefully. You can see too there are chunks of strawberry in there. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell so you won't miss any new videos coming out. So let's crack this open and find out. Ooh. It smells like strawberry jam. It tastes like strawberry jam. Strawberry jam with a kick. Let's find out here. So yeah, vinaigrette uh, type consistency. So I got a nice little chunk on here, about half, about a quarter of a spoonful. So cheers. Oh, that is very nice. Bear, oh, I love strawberries, especially fresh strawberries. And this is not exactly what this tastes like. It's fresh strawberries. Mm. <laughs> this is very good. Heat level, I don't even. I'm not even registering any heat.
I'm just registering the strawberries. <laughs> I'm going to try again see if I get any heat at all. So I can taste the pepper, but I'm not getting heat off the pepper. That strawberry flavor. Oh. <clears throat> Best way I can describe it is when you have a really good high-end raspberry vinaigrette salad dressing, when you taste the raspberry in it, that's literally what this does, but with strawberries. It's almost like when you got, I have a visitor. <laughs> uh, a strawberry puree kind of uh, mix that's what it tastes like it's actually oh absolutely amazing i know what this is going to be going on to i will use it as a salad dressing to probably at one point i will use this many many things i think i might have some strawberry ice cream in the freezer too that would actually go really good on that i gotta have some more just to just to have it right now because that's so good Probably drink the whole bottle just right now, but don't want to do that. Oh, mm. oh wow, wow, get no heat flavor. I want to give it a 10 out of 10 for flavor. This is absolutely amazing. Theoretically, I could probably go higher, but it doesn't make any sense to go any higher. 10 out of 10 is best technically yet. Um, just the, the mix of everything on here was perfectly. Now, it says it's, I didn't notice it before. It's a mild. It's only a two heat on this thing. That could be why I'm not tasting it. But, oh, the strawberries. If you guys are watching this, and you made, and if you're one of the ones make it, that made this batch or made this particular uh, flavor, kudos on you. Did a great job. This is absolutely amazing. I do know where I will be going to get some more of this. <laughs> Cause, let's see. Double checking that. Not not a bad price considering. Uh, Canadian. It's it's eleven thirty for a bottle, which is typical for a bottle of hot sauce anymore, and something that good. Yeah. Now. I don't know, shipping or anything, I haven't gone through the ordering process, but it's a pretty decent price for a bottle of hot sauce. That's really worth having. So yeah, before I decide to drink this whole bottle, which I shouldn't do because I want to keep it for other things, don't forget to <laughs> subscribe, do the usual stuff. You know what you got to do. Enjoy the heat, stay spicy. We'll see you next time, but spread the love. Let others see what I'm uh, doing and so I can share the love and spread the word of these great sauces that I try. Take care. It's so good. It really tastes like fresh strawberries. <laughs>